I am aware this is not the best angle for me to be filming. Um, however, yeah. <laughs> hey guys, it's Erin, or in this case, Rennie, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are talking all things hair. Okay, so it's been, I believe it's been like four months since I've cut my hair. And the other day, like two days ago, three days ago, I was like, you know what? Let me not wear hair wrap today. Let me actually um, wear my hair out. Cause I've been getting into the habit of having my hair covered pretty much every day. And then I think it was Wednesday when I was like, okay, let me wear my hair out. And I'm wearing my hair out. Like I'm getting ready for class. And I'm like, what the heck? Wait, my hair, my hair has grown. Um, she's kind of elongated and i'll show you guys the pictures and the video right here Word. wait can you guys see that wait mm. Mm. <laughs> and i'm like oh my word bro i can twist my hair like i did like i only like pinned it back a bit here but i don't have to look like a jackson five boy member anymore i can look like a girl uh, <laughs> um but i'm gonna be honest since i've cut my hair um it really humbled me it really humbled me um i'm not sure how but like as much like i know in the video i said like i feel oh my god i did it and like i still feel bonita <laughs> okay um i still feel like i'm proud of myself for doing it even though it's not like a massive life-changing thing for me i'm one of those people that when i go through something i'm like ooh, let me dye my hair let me cut my hair let me change my hair and yeah i like i can still do it now but i don't want to cut my hair even more because however with that being said this is an update of december january february march four months since i've cut my hair short i would want to call it a big chop because it's really just me going like back to the beninging being like yay yay we're doing this from the beninging um yeah and my hair has grown i'm so grateful um i actually want to show do i still have it i want to share my hair care routine with you guys as well so this is something i started to drink i don't drink it a lot anymore because i forget to drink it a lot but I drink it, it is hair, skin and nail vitamins and then for the box. Alright, so currently my hair care routine is the following. Um, the night before or like a few hours before I wash my hair. I'm like, okay, cool, babe, I'm gonna put in oils. So put in this, like the tag is off, but this is a very good oil. It smells, it smells very nice. And then all of my bobby pins i know it's in a period box okay but all of my bobby pins and stuff like that um then i put in some amla oil so a few hours before i wash my hair i douse my head with this and then i massage it a bit and i put in some of this as well this is olive oil with black cast with black <laughs> with black castor and keratin um, and then sometimes I just like actually I know you're watching my sister meaning and you're like Erin hukum ye di I'll take like I, I will take it back home I promise okay side tangent um, and then when I actually wash my hair I use organics shampoo organics conditioner so I just wash it normally and then with this, put it in, detangle my hair, like, what's it called? And then I massage my head and then, what do I do then? And then I wash it out and then usually like when I'm at home, like family, like with my family, at the family home, when I'm not in Pretoria, I try to do like a deep conditioner. Um, I used to do that like every time I washed my hair. And then I was like, 
I think it might be a bit too straining because I'm not exactly sure how many times I should do it and some people say like do it like once like once every few weeks once a month once every three months so I decided let me not do it every week let me like balance it out so hopefully when I go back I think like next month I can deep condition my hair um, and then once that is done like once I wash this out directly I put these bad boys in my head again because then like the follicles are still open because my hair is very warm and I can just like everything in there then I put in Cantu Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream Intense Moisture to Soften Damage Dry and Coarse Hair I put this in you know, I <laughs> I used to like finger quail my hair, like whenever I wash my hair, but it took like 40 minutes, if not more, to like finger quail every single, not like every single hair strand, because it's a lot, but just to like finger quail my hair. And then my sister told me, she's like, you know, you could just like put like a little bit in your palm and like, and that's what I've been doing. Um, yeah, that's what I did this week. That's why I look like this now. But yeah, um, this is the last thing I put on my head. And then the rest of the week when I want to style my hair, I just, where's my water can? I like spray my hair and then I afro pick it. And then I just, and then yeah. For edges though, I use this or sometimes this it depends how I feel like I like this one however recently since I'm sweating because it's still like very hot I use this one which is hydrating gel for kinky and coily hair I really like this one and it smells nice it smells very nice I used to use the leave-in conditioner of Ooh. I, I, I used to I used to use the leave-in conditioner of this um, and then I feel like it didn't really do the thing for me because it's like It's like full of moisture jam-packed, but it didn't like soak into my hair as much as I wanted it to Yeah, um, this is pretty much and then let me show the danky toothbrush I use for my edges Don't know if it's full of gel. Okay, it's this one a baby toothbrush sometimes When I really want to sculpt it it's lotion <laughs> And I really want to sculpt it. I go in for the bad boy. Mm, mm, mm. But majority of the time, I just use this one because it's like easier to use. I should probably clean. I should clean it because I've been doing my edges the entire week this week. But yeah. Um. Oh. Also, this. I. I sometimes use this. However, this is like what I would use if. I wash my hair in the morning and I can like let my hair air dry the entire day so that all of the product can just like soak into my hair but yeah that is the hair products that I used um, I don't know but like my hair pretty much it grew guys like it's like she's like she's kind of long oh, no. she's kind of long um, hopefully 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 and prayerfully I can braid my hair next month or the month after. I'm thinking maybe like little like like miniature braids, but my hair is like significantly longer. And I do miss a silk braid. I, I I miss it. I really do. How you for hairstyles? Um, this new one was unlocked this week that I can like twist my hair back and like make it all cute. Um, but as I said, majority of the time, I just straighten, no, Ooh. I just keep my hair covered, whether it's, <coughs> wow, whether it's with wigs, head wraps, turbans, um, bandanas, hats, I try to keep my hair covered as much as possible, because it's just easier to move around and stuff, and also, I don't want to wet my hair every single day, like, so yeah, this is the four month update of me since I've cut my hair yeah
short video short and sweet very personal want my hair to grow um yeah 4 a b hair yeah i think my hair is still 4 a b i hope yeah um yeah okay that's all for my side <laughs> okay bye guys please don't forget to like to subscribe and to comment and i'll see you in the next one this is erin signing out peace out Ouch.